Welcome back, everyone. It's the Bourbon Judge. Hey, I missed you guys. <laughs> so, gosh, let's think about it. So, Thursday, I did not put out a video. The Bourbon Judge was on vacation in Florida hunting. Well, the Bourbon Judge was on vacation in Florida. <laughs> But I did hunt. Let's just be clear. I did hunt. Um, hey, there's no family vacation in the judge household without some bourbon hunting, right? And no matter where we go as a family, my wife, my daughter, they know every single time. It always comes down to I need some time to do my bourbon hunting. So I'm just going to keep it real, right? That's the way I roll. But uh, hey, we enjoyed uh, vacation. Had a good time. It was nice to get away. And uh, a couple cool things about Florida, which is a little bit different than the Northeast. I'm, I'm going to keep it... Uh, uh, real with you guys. So a couple things. Number one, my observations. Number one, Garrison's Brothers. Every liquor store in Florida has Garrison Brothers. The honey, the small batch, some store picks, the Balmoray. Uh, the only one I didn't actually see in Florida of all the Garrison Brothers was the Cowboy, like the top of the line. But everything else that they make was in Florida. Observation number two. Um, Barstown Bourbon Company. Now I know why my girl Rain, so Rain, one of my patrons, I appreciate you, Rain. Now I know why it's so easy for her to find either the uh, uh, Piper Pavit or the uh, the Prisoner. It was all over Florida. So obviously, uh, Barstown Bourbon Company loves to ship the majority of their stuff to Florida. I saw that also. All across, well, not all across the state because I only went to several cities, but in multiple cities, I saw multiple different Piper Pavits, uh, Prisoners, you name it, all over. And then, of course, obviously, Discovery Series and um, the Fusion Series as well, all over Florida. And then last but not least, which we're going to dive into today, is uh, Angel's Envy. I saw multiple Angel's Envy store picks. And the pretty cool thing is not maybe fully at cast strength, but even like, for example, this one here comes in at 109.2 proof. So pretty damn close to uh, almost like a barrel proof. But this is a single barrel store pick, one that I found. And honestly, I'm not the biggest Angel's Envy fan. I'm not going to lie, guys, right? When you think of Angel's Envy, the primary one that's obviously out in the market is the one that's... Uh, 86.6 proof right and when you think of angels envy about a 50 55 dollar bottle beautiful shape it is finished in a port wine barrel but at 86.6 proof the standard angels envy like the small batch i just don't jam with it very well it's just something about it it's honestly a little bland if you are newer to bourbon and you want to just try something out that's finished in a in a port wine barrel finish or just a barrel finish as a whole um, Angel's Envy small batch at $50, $55 is a good bourbon to try. But for someone who really enjoys, let's call it just, you know, top of the line, very, um, just great quality bourbon at, honestly, at a higher proof, that's the reason why I typically do stay away from Angel's Envy. No offense, Angel Envy, not trying to throw any shade. Hey, I picked up this bottle because it was close as possible to cast strength, and it was a single barrel down in Florida, so why not, right? That's what it's all about. Um... And then also, last thing I will say, uh, again, shout out to all my patrons for all their support. I actually posted on my Patreon page the number one liquor store in the Sarasota, Tampa area. This place where I got this from is pretty good. But, which this, by the way, this is from Lukens in Tampa, Florida. So this is from Lukens in Tampa, Florida. Lukens Wine and Spirits. Love their shop. Fantastic, fantastic store. But the number one liquor store in uh, the Sarasota, Florida area, uh, I posted on my uh, Patreon site. The store owner, his name is Brock. He actually has two stores. They have, let's just call it a shitload of barrel picks. They had at least 10. The website only says about three or four, but they had at least like 10 different barrel picks. I bought several myself. Brock, my man, you are a fantastic, and I mean a fantastic barrel pick uh, gentleman. <laughs> all, the, all the bourbons that I bought, uh, and honestly, almost all of his barrel picks were just phenomenal. Folks, I'm telling you, you got to check it out. Um, but you know what? Let's, enough talk about my trip. Let's dive into Angel's Envy single barrel store pick. All right, I'm going to go ahead and crack this open. Ah. All right, so when we think of Angel's Envy, what comes to mind? So number one, it started about 11 years ago. Uh, Wes Henderson and his late father, Lincoln Henderson, uh, started Angel's Envy um, about 11 years ago. Lincoln, the late Lincoln uh, Henderson, 
was, you know, truly just an icon in the bourbon world, right? He was uh, truly, I mean, gosh, he spent over 40 years in the bourbon world primarily as the master distiller or former master distiller at this point, of course, the former master distiller of Brown Foreman. So you got your old Forester and Woodford Reserve. So his father, Lincoln, really knows the business very, very well. And, uh, you know, prior to his passing, I mean, he really, he was really the, the foundation of Angel's Envy. His son, Wes Henderson, you know, continued on, continued to kind of, you know, do well with the company. And then, um, when you also think about Angel's Envy, you also think of a couple things. Number one, very cool shaped bottle, right? Very nice. Got the front of the bottle. Got the back there. Because this is a store pick, they have like their little logo on the front, which is Lucan's Wine and Spirit. Um, and I will say I found multiple versions, as I said earlier, in Angel's Envy, different, different, um, different proof points. But I waited until I found the highest, which was at Lucan's. Again, coming in at 109.2 proof. A couple other things about uh, Angel's Envy, obviously located right downtown in Louisville, uh, Kentucky, so the distillery down there. Um, in 2015, Wes and team did actually sell out. They did sell. I hate saying that, but they did sell out. <laughs> God, just hey, just gotta keep it real. They sold out. Hey, money's money, right? They sold out to Bacardi, but they are still very heavily involved in the... Um, uh, like in the production and a lot, a lot of like the innovation and like just the brand as a whole. So Wes and team is still very heavily involved. And then the last but not least, uh, when you think of Angel's Envy, they truly back in the day were one of the first to really um, be well known to finish bourbon in a, in this case, a port wine barrel finish, right? So they were one, they were one of like the originals to, uh, to really kind of, um, uh, finished bourbon in a uh, in a different barrel in a different cask in this case a port wine and that was kind of their thing from the beginning and they stuck with it now everyone does it but they were one of the uh, one of the OGs to kind of change it up a little bit which is pretty cool so that's pretty neat by itself so last thing before about uh, Angel's Envy I should say so they make their small batch which is about 50 bucks that's like the 86.6 proof they make a rye and then they also make their cast strength, which is typically like a $225, almost a $250 bottle. And I believe Lash's versions was like 120 proof. So when I found this bad boy at 109.2 proof, basically 110, only for like, I think it's like 130 plus tax. I was like, yeah, if I can save $100, <laughs> Save a hundred bucks and I oh, sure I don't get the beautiful uh, wooden box that the cast strength one comes in but saving a hundred dollars I will do that any day to get as close as possible to cast strength and that's what we have here the standard port wine finish but at $130 plus tax so thank you Florida let's get into this nose real quick here so I will say uh, Again, I typically am very skeptical of Angel's Envy, the small batch, just because it's at that lower proof, you know? But the casting, I liked a lot. My buddy Brian from uh, Beginning Bourbon, he sent me a little sample of that, and I enjoyed it. But again, is that $250? So I'm like, a little bit cheaper. Well, in this case, $100 cheaper. <laughs> it, I, hopefully, this should be worth it. And as you guys know me, I always pour out that neck pour in my Infinity bottle. Um, so now I'm actually, this will be the first time I'm actually uh, sipping this and hopefully enjoying it with all of you out there. All right. So this one, like no other, I should say, last but not least, is uh, age is standard about six years for Angel's Envy, which is their normal age is roughly about six years. And then it goes into the port wine barrels for an additional three to six months, right? So it's about a six and a half year age bourbon uh, in totality, if you will. All right, enough talking. Let's get to sipping here. So from the nose, you got the port wine. So it does, it's like a good balance between traditional bourbon notes, like your caramel, some raisins, some vanilla, but you have like the berries in the background because of that, that wine, right? That port wine, like the blackberries, almost like some grapes. Mm, almost like some like a like notes of like fig. Mm. Yeah, more grapes, more like uh, berries. Almost like a, a prune. This is very interesting. Very different at the same time, but they, they, it folds in very well together from a nose standpoint. Not bad. All right, folks. Like I said, I miss you guys a lot. 
seriously i didn't put that video out midweek because i was traveling it was just too crazy but uh as i say each and every week peace cheer salute i appreciate each and every one of you out there love all the commentary love going back and forth i need three favors you guys know me three favors number one please hit the like button number two drop me a comment it can be now at the end of the video whenever and last but not least please make sure you hit the subscribe button please make sure you do that and uh one little surprise for you at the end of the video i'm gonna throw in some clips from uh just a few of my uh let's call it honey experiences in florida so check out some of those uh behind the scenes bourbon judge honey experiences in florida all right folks cheers everybody Mm. Woo! Wow. That's different. <laughs> it's Angel's Envy, right? Damn. All right, all right, all right. Hold on now. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> I think it was, it was it Dave Barkowski who said, Bourbon Judge, I would love to play poker with you. It was either Dave or CZR. He said, I would love to play poker with you. Sometimes I have a hard time holding it back a little bit. I am a little surprised with this one, but hold on, let me get just a little bit more, a little bit more here. Mm. All right. All right. So, at 109.2 proof, what I enjoyed about this is that, number one, a very long finish. You don't get that a lot with normal standard Angels Envy uh, small batch, obviously 86.6, but this single barrel takes it to a whole nother level. You do definitely taste the port. The port wine absolutely comes out in the palate. Long finish and the port wine, those berries, everything from that nose transferred to the palate, all of like the, um, the berries, the grapes, um some of the raisins but the caramel your traditional bourbon bourbon notes your caramel your brown sugar that was there as well they kind of fold it in and just kind of they just blend it in very well together all at the same time nice long finish so the question remains are store picks that much better than the standard everyday small batch some cases yes some cases no i'm going for a second pour that by itself should uh tell you guys <laughs> what I'm thinking with a mash bill of 72% corn, 18 18% rye and 10% malted barley. That folks is definitely a buy. This is actually damn good bourbon. I am uh, genuinely impressed with angels envy. I got to give it to them. You know, it's uh, I, I the only, but here's, here's my feedback though. Here's my thing though. All right. As much as I like this, I travel all the time, all over, for looking for uh, for bourbon, right? And unfortunately, you don't see a ton of Angel's Envy store picks. So hopefully it becomes more of the norm. If that becomes more of the norm, then hey, I can rock and roll all day long with that. But if I can only find it in Florida, that means we all have to reach out to our girl Rain in Florida. <laughs> <laughs> or all of our good friends in Florida and say, hey, please ship me up uh, one of those Angels Envy store picks. So get more out there, Angels Envy, and you will definitely get more love from the bourbon world because this, I tell you, is great. And I would buy this locally here, locally here on the, uh, in the northeast of the Delaware, Maryland area all day, every day, if I could find it. Folks, peace, cheers, salute. I appreciate everyone out there. Thank you guys and gals for everything. Talk to you guys soon. Later. Cheers. Mm. That is good. <laughs> Peace out. Wow, this is definitely a nice little bourbon shop, folks. This is a good spot to visit when you do make it to Florida. Not bad. Makers casting. Makers. Straight hands, wow. I'm digging it. Not bad at all.
great selection. Uh, the good old Heaven Hill. Oh, wow. Very nice. Alright, folks. On to the next one. Well, folks, we are in the last spot. This is Sarasota Wine and Spirits. Decent selection, but nothing to really kind of write home about, you know? Some Duke, some Heaven's Door, some Woodenville, you know, Woodenville, some Garrison's Brother. Florida is flooded with Garrison's Bourbon. They love some Garrison's down here. All right, folks. All right, folks, this is ABC Fine Wine and Spirits in Tampa. This was a complete strike out for the bourbon judge.